Tonight, an extraordinary statement from Culture Secretary John Whittingdale, confirming a story that four of Britain's newspapers did not run. But he did have a relationship with a woman who turned out to be a dominatrix. But both he and Downing Street say it's nobody's business other than his own. John Whittingdale told Newsnight in a statement, between August 2013 and February 2014, I had a relationship with someone who I first met through Match.com. She was a similar age and lived close to me. At no time did she give me any indication of her real occupation, and I only discovered this when I was made aware that someone was trying to sell a story about me to tabloid newspapers. As soon as I discovered, I ended the relationship. This is an old story which was a bit embarrassing at the time. The events occurred long before I took up my present position and it has never had any influence on the decisions I have made as Culture Secretary. It's over three years since Lord Justice Leveson concluded that Britain's newspapers needed a tougher regulator. Culture Secretary John Whittingdale has made it perfectly plain he's not minded to give it all the teeth Lord Leveson wanted. But everything has just got a whole lot murkier with allegations both on the internet and today in private eye. But some of the newspapers have got something on the cabinet minister. The story first surfaced on byline.com that John Whittingdale in late 2013 had a relationship with a woman who was a prostitute. Whittingdale's office has told Newsnight he had no idea his girlfriend at the time was a sex worker at the London retreat complete with its own dungeon. This is the street where the dungeon lies, but this isn't a story about an MP who became a cabinet minister and a dominatrix. It's a story about why the newspapers didn't run that story and why that might be. Inside the job James Cusick was a reporter on the independent newspaper. He looked at the story for five months. There's, if you like, details of his private life which basically I think the public have a right to know about. If this individual is making these decisions, individual decisions that would affect the way people look at newspapers, the way newspapers behave, the way the BBC is allowed to behave, you have a right to know about this man's private life and whether there's something in it that he's trying to hold back from you. And that's what, was, that's what the Independent found out. In 2013, Mr Whittingdale and his girlfriend went to the MTV Awards in Amsterdam. The trip was paid for by MTV. He didn't declare this trip with a parliamentary registry of interests because the cost of the trip, his office says, didn't meet the reporting threshold. But he did declare a similar trip to MTV awards he made with his then wife in 2006. Newsnight understands that four newspaper groups investigated the relationship between the MP and the dominatrix. The People, part of the Mirror Group, the Mail on Sunday, part of the Daily Mail group, The Sun, part of News International, and The Independent. All four newspapers spent time on the story, and all four newspapers didn't run the story. Some commentators, particularly amongst the hacked-off group, have called foul, saying the newspapers are hypocrites. But this may be unfair to editors who now more than ever are concerned about invading people's privacy. Whittingdale, after all, was a single man, having a relationship with a woman, a consenting adult. Tonight, number 10 told Newsnight that Mr Whittingdale is a single man and his private life is his own affair. But tellingly, number 10 also said it was not aware of Whittingdale's relationship before he was appointed culture secretary. To be fair to Whittingdale, he's always been an advocate of light regulation of the newspapers, so there is no evidence he's done anything hypocritical. The question is, how much confidence can the public have in John Whittingdale, Secretary of State for Culture, the man in charge of the issue of whether the newspapers should be regulated or not, if they, the public, know those very same newspapers have got something on the man, John Whittingdale? The issue highlighted by Private Eye is one of fairness. The satirical magazine highlights two cases, that of the Tory MP Brooks Newmark, and Labour peer, Lord Sewell. Both of them had their sexual shenanigans splashed across the papers. Max Mosley faced shaming by the tabloid press after his sexual antics were laid bare, and he got a bit of a kicking from John Whittingdale too.
Well, it, it's quite funny. When, when I appeared in front of his committee back in 2009, he said, vis-à-vis -vis my little story with the news of the world, you must have realised this was a time bomb that was going to go off. But of course, if I'd known that he had, uh, shall I say, similar interests, I would have said, well, aren't you in the same position? And surely you're more well-known than I am. I mean, in my case, it had absolutely nothing to do with what I was known for, which was work in the motor racing world. In his uh, world, of course, because he's so involved with the press, he does. But unfortunately, when he said that to me, I didn't know um, <laughs> what he was up to. And then there's the mail, arguing for full disclosure on the mystery celebrity who had a threesome. The mail asked, whatever happened to the public's right to know? Tonight, that seems a good question, not just in Fleet Street, but also in Westminster too.